After the cheaters made an infinite water source that destroyed the whole world, I have to figure out what the cheaters are planning and find a way to stop them so I can save what's left of this world. I don't understand, how do you know my name? But before the cheater could answer, what? What just happened? Where did he go? How did he just die? Computer, run an analysis. How did the cheater die? Prison was set to auto-terminate after 10 minutes. Set to auto-terminate? On whose authority? On your authority, sir. What? I was the one who set that? I don't remember turning on auto-terminate. Ah, oh, this is bad, this is bad. Now I have no more cheater and I can't get any more answers. I just need boss to not find out about this. Mission alert! Mission alert! Oh god, I really hope I'm not in trouble this time. Hello, Evbo. There's something we want you to see. Our sensors picked up something unnatural near the eastern border. A disturbance at the border? Why would cheaters be there? Report back on what you find. Good luck! This is strange. I myself have never been anywhere close to the border, but I've only heard stories about how dangerous it is from boss. If there are actually cheaters at the border, I have no clue what they could be planning, but they would be risking their lives being that close to the radiation from the red zone. The red zone is a place that no human could ever travel to. After the infinite water source destroyed everything, only a certain area was safe, but the rest of the world was not. We called it the red zone and the atmosphere in the zone is so poisonous that a human would die in a matter of seconds, which is why we set up the zone border, to let us know where the red zone is so we can be safe. I knew I was close to the border since I was looking at these trees and they were decayed. Unfortunately, not even the zone border can fully protect our world from the radiation. I pulled out my spyglass and I could see the shimmering wall that was protecting us from the red zone. But then, I saw some other blocks that didn't look like they belonged. I pulled out my crossbow and I went to investigate. As I got closer to the blocks, I saw something that I hadn't seen in years. Is that a boat? There's no way that could be real. How would someone have enough wood to possibly make a boat? I walked up to the boat and it was pushed right up against the border as if they were trying to get through to the red zone. But then I saw rotten flesh on the ground. Whoever put this boat here must have done it recently, but they must have not survived the journey. Whatever happened, they must have gone into the red zone and came out. But that shouldn't be possible. Even I couldn't get through the border if I tried. I was confused at what all these other machines were, but then I saw something else that confirmed my suspicion. It was a red chest plate. But chest plates don't naturally come in the color red. That means they must have been in the red zone and the radiation caused it to change color. I put down my holo projector and told boss everything. I'm sending you the coordinates to the border generator. Cheaters might be trying to destroy the border. Why would the cheaters be trying to take down the zone border? That doesn't make any sense. All right, I got the coordinates. I'm going there now. I was out in the middle of the desert, but I finally found what I was looking for. I saw a giant building with a beacon shining into the sky. If cheaters were going to try to take out the zone border, they would be here. So far, everything looked normal. It doesn't look like anyone's been here for a while. I walked up straight to the front gate. Please state your name. Uh, Evbo? Voice recognition completed. Full access granted to the facility. I didn't know I even had clearance for this building, but maybe boss gave it to me before I got here. I slowly walked up into the main room, careful if there were any cheaters waiting for me, but there was no one here. There was just a bunch of empty desks. I made my way towards the ladder that went up to the room where the border generator was located. I got to the top, and no one was there. Everything seemed fine. All I know is that if the cheaters were planning to do something, they haven't done it yet. So at least I got here early enough. Boss, I don't know. Everything seems fine to me. Check the generator room first and return to base. All right, I'll give it a sweep and I'll come back. I've made my way down into the generator room. Theoretically, if the cheaters were hiding down here, they could destroy the power cells and shut down the border generator. But so far, the coast was clear. All right, boss, the generator room's clear. Don't stay there for too long. Boss? Hello? For two, for two, for two, Boss, don't... I can't hear you. You're breaking up. That's when I heard the explosion. I ran back to the stairs, but by then, it was already too late. There was sand blocking the entire entrance. I ran to the other staircase, but it was also caved in. And that's when I heard the sound of another explosion and glass breaking. Whoever trapped me in here was just using the sand to buy some time. I needed to get out of here as fast as I could. I finally broke all the sand and made my way up the ladder. But by then, it was too late. I got to the top and the border generator had completely been destroyed. There was now nothing standing in the way between the safe zone and the red zone. I walked over to the giant hole in the glass. Whoever broke the generator had already escaped. Now that the border's gone, I might only have minutes before the red zone destroys what's left of this world. <laughs>